Welcome to Your Two Cents, where we tell you our opinion, then ask for yours. You might remember that late last year, Beyonce surprised the world by releasing a previously unannounced album direct to iTunes as an exclusive, and then double surprised us by keeping it off streaming sites and other outlets for days, if not weeks. Well, it turns out that Apple really liked that idea of exclusivity and wants to do more of it. Uh, and it looks like the record labels are liking the sound of this as well as it drives album sales. But what about the consumers? Is exclusivity a good thing for just the record industry or consumers somehow benefiting from this? What do you guys think? Why don't you start us off, Lewis? I think in the long run, consumers get screwed essentially because it's it's essentially you know Apple and iTunes and maybe a couple of record labels dictating when you can listen to music you know they'll say like okay so using Beyonce as the example so I think iTunes had that exclusive album for a week and during that week no one could really stream it from any site or right. even buy the physical CD anywhere right. you couldn't get it in stores at all right. right remember there was even backlash from Amazon and Target and they're like well if you guys are gonna do that then we're not gonna sell the CD at all right I, not right. so in that instance, then, it, it's kind of like uh, the, the bad news for consumers is that you now have uh, kind of like uh, offended limited. stores. Right, right. You know, who are like, oh, well, if you're going to do that, we're not going to carry it at all, which is a, the worst thing for consumers. Because right. now, like, consumers are not going to go to Target because they can't, they don't, they can't get the album. You there. can't go to Amazon, and Amazon always has great deals on brand new albums. You know, right. they did that with Lady Gaga's album. I think it was like, what, a buck or something $1. like that? Oh, yeah, it was 99 cents. <laughs> so, you know, if iTunes does this with another album, that means Amazon's not going to discount it. That means you won't be able to stream it. That means if you want that album, if you happen to be a fan of that artist, you have only one store to go to yeah. legally, well, and that would be iTunes right. or whoever has the exclusive. Right. I mean, we're we're talking in legal terms here. Yes, you could always <laughs> go to piracy and get any album you want before you it's released. You can't even YouTube it. Apparently, they even have like a stronghold against YouTube. Where like you know you can't even leak wow. the album on a video on YouTube or, or whatnot. Nothing. There would be nothing available right. for you. It's kind of like a, a blockade. They want to they want to maximize their sales, and you do that by maximizing sales of the album and restricting it from free places to listen to. Where there's some discussion of whether they make more money off of YouTube streams by ad revenue over the long run, but uh, uh, music groups want the money up front, and that comes from album sales. There's even there's even more discussion about them selling the album exclusive first and then putting it to streaming? No, streaming is always last because they hate streaming because they don't make a right. lot of money off of streaming. So that, remember when, when it was a big deal like everyone was buying singles and stuff and right. they, they don't right. like that at all either. So they want to rearrange the exclusivity to last in such a way that they maximize sales and, and, and that's what they're going to try and do. But I mean this is the kind of thing that movies already do, right? I mean it's called right. windowing. Yep. Um, it means that it's available for a small window of time on a different outlet. So if is this does this just mean that that as music listeners we're going to have to think like music watchers in that like music like movie streamers we're going to have to understand that waiting for music is now part of the price of music is is, is that what they're saying Dan what are your thoughts on this you know here's the thing i mean i i had some pretty strong thoughts when I first was reading what we were going to be talking about. And then I, I started thinking back to when Apple introduced the iPhone to AT&T only. Mm. And I'm going, you know what? This is just the way business goes. This is business. You know, yeah. it's like it's like people want to max... Well, people. Let's put... The, the people making the stuff want to maximize how much money they're going to make. And the best way to do that is to, you know, limit the bandwidth as far as where you can purchase it. Right. So... I mean, I, I, at first I was angry, then I was like, oh, well, this is just more of the same. You right, know, it's right. See, that's but that's what has me worried. Is it more of the same? Are we too complacent then about saying like, well, there's an exclusivity here, we have to wait? And because I mean, movies definitely did that to us. We right. know for a fact that movies are going to be available to buy on DVD for a month before they're available for like any sort of online rental streaming. Right. Right. And then even more and more months, if not years, until they're on Netflix. You know. Uh, so I mean, I mean, that's 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 the I guess that's the new reality. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. I I I mean, I don't see it changing anytime soon. And yeah. I just I think this is more of, you know, uh, corporate music dipping their foot in the water, so to speak, to see right. you know how can they, 
how can they re um, regain some of the the monies lost? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, does this I, I all did. stem from the MP3 download piracy Napster wars? When yes, I blame Metallica. Metallica is <laughs> to blame on this whole thing. Right. Even I mean, ever Beyonce. since people wanted digital music and they weren't giving it to them. But music is so undervalued now uh, for many consumers that they have to pull tricks like this, you know? And, and I think movies having set up this, this bad precedent means that it's probably going to happen more and more. Um, well, at least that's my two cents. What's yours, viewer? Tell us your thoughts on music store exclusivity in the comments below. For DealNews.com, along with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter, I'm Jeff Summagee. Goodbye. <laughs>